Hey, my awesome Aries, and welcome to your weekend energy reading. This is a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest, or check out the other signs in your chart if they might resonate more. However, if you like this, please do like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. It's free, it's fun, and why not? And I will also link in the description box your love reading that I recently posted in case you haven't had a chance to check that out to find out what kind of love is on the horizon for you. Um, but otherwise, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on your weekend energy reading. We won't do reversals since this is just a weekend energy reading. Uh, we do use this deck. We do use another deck for challenge cards and three decks of oracle cards for a full scope of view here, hopefully, to kind of get you started. So let's see what we've got here. We have the Two of Swords, okay? So that tells me that, um, and again, if you look at that, she's kind of blindfolded. So I feel like kind of you are coming into, um, this could mean that you're coming into a decision this weekend um, where it's kind of like a blind choice. So perhaps this weekend is something where you are coming in freed up um, and you get to decide what you want to do. You have the option of multiple things, um, you know, a couple ideas that you really want. And, you know, it's a free weekend. You're deciding blind what you want to do this weekend, this weekend going into next week, perhaps too. Um, it could also uh, be something where, you know, it's something where you kind of feel like maybe you are cornered into something, a decision too. Um, so depending on what your situation is, this could be something where you kind of blindsided by having to make a decision. So let's say you, um, you know, you weren't really planning on anything this weekend, um, or you had one specific plan this weekend and something else pops up and you feel like, oh crud, what am I going to do now? Cause now I have two things I really need to get to. Um, what do I do? How am I going to do this? Um, you know, I really need to balance this and I'm kind of blindsided by this because, you know, I forgot about this or I just wasn't aware of this. You know, maybe you have, you know, multiple commitments and you thought you had everything balanced out or maybe, you know, something popped up with one because it's an impromptu. Um, and now all of a sudden your weekend has become um, from a little bit kind of laid back to now super busy because you've got multiple things and you have to kind of balance <laughs> and juggle. Uh, so for many of you, that might be the case too. And you're kind of like the blinding here is like you're blindsided. So you have to be like strong and like super courageous to like make it through this weekend because you're now like, oh crap, how am I going to balance this, juggle this, get through this? I've got, you know, first I had one kid I had to deal with. Now I've got, you know, two kids got soccer games on three fields and yada, 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 or, you know, what have you, something like that to that effect, or, uh oh, now work needs me. Uh, I thought I was off this weekend. Um, so I had this, this, and this plan for fun with my family and bam, now work needs to call me in. What am I going to do? Um, you know, I'm going to have to figure something out. Um, so that could be what's going on for quite a few of you. Um, we have the Hierophant card here and the Hierophant is kind of like, you're looking for, um, you know, some spiritual enlightenment here. And I do feel like that is as a result of this um, decision, you know, these choices. So I feel like you're like almost like, how do I channel this power, this energy I need to get through this? Okay. Because, um, you know, I don't feel like it's anything nefarious. I don't feel like it's anything ominous. Don't be scared. It's nothing you need to worry about in my mind. You know, I, that's not the vibe, the feeling um, the intuition that I get at all. Okay. I just feel like it's overwhelming because it's something that you didn't expect. And it may be something delightful. Um, again, it could be something like, oh, all of a sudden your friends really were like, oh, we got these tickets. So that's awesome. You know, whatever. And you're like, oh shit, I really want to go to that. <laughs> and then bingo, bango, you're like, okay. Um, but you know, what do I need to do? I don't want to miss, you know, this or that, you know, um, I, I really need to like seek seek some advice, you know, search my soul for what is most important. What am I going to do? Uh, how do I get through this? Who can I call upon? Um, you know, what people can I count on? What can I do to get through this? So I do kind of feel like that's what's happening here is that it is going to be a testing weekend, uh, as far as like trying to balance stuff that maybe you did not necessarily see on the horizon. Um, and not necessarily, like I said, bad things, just things that maybe are popping up decisions you need to make. Um, you may just have more on your plate than you expected and they could all be good things, but just more, okay? And then you have King of Cups energy down here. And this to me is just telling me that, you know, 
one of the things on your plate may be that this is a king of cups energy and this could be either a relationship type person or this could be a strong person in your family somebody that you really look up to mentor figure parent figure um, older sibling type figure uh, boss figure um, again, this could be somebody involved in that where they are like coming into you with this opportunity, okay? And their opportunity is like part of this, this issue, okay? Because you weren't necessarily expecting that. So, you know, maybe you had set plans to do whatever, maybe even nothing. And now all of a sudden this person has kind of come in and they are like trying to say, well, we need you for this. We need you for that. We need you for this. Um, you know, and you're kind of like, okay, well, I don't want to let this person down because you know, this is somebody I have a great relationship with. Okay. I really don't want to let this person down. I really care. This is somebody I'm really close to. We have a good relationship. Um, or alternatively, this could be your energy. And because you have that King of Cups energy, this is how you get through this week. Okay. Honestly, week, weekend going into next week is that you have to harness that King of Cups energy. You have to start delegating. You have to start taking charge. You have to start being the king of cups really and saying, okay, this is the priority list. This is how I prioritize what needs to be done. These are the decisions I'm going to make of what's most important, what's second most important, what's third. Here's how I can get it done. Here's what we're going to do after you've kind of really gone through your, um, searched your soul if as it were of what's most important what's second most important what's third most important and decided you really start taking charge okay and then making those decisions making those choices and that's kind of what your weekend into next week will be it's mostly um kind of just like you know being a to-do list <laughs> and being like a um you know you're more like a superintendent uh of of um taskmaster, if you will, of the things that need to be done or places you need to get to or people that need to be um, attended to. So, you know, you may have to be like, you know, you need to go, grandpa needs to go to this soccer game, grandma needs to go to that one, aunt such and such needs to be at this event for me and this person is going to have to attend this for me and I need to be here for this and you know it may be something of that nature and you may have to just put on your, you know, king crown, straighten your crown and start uh, you know, taking charge, to be honest with you. So, um, but let's get some more uh, information here. We've got some, uh, this is the psychic deck, uh, and we will go ahead and get some more information uh, or some clarifiers here, hopefully that will, oh, you know what? We didn't even get your challenge card. I'm losing my mind today. It's um, St. Patrick's Day, to be honest with you. And that is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite days of the year, always. <laughs> and I'm just over exuberant. If you hadn't noticed, I I'm like running a mile a minute because I'm super excited. And it's also almost my son's birthday and we're gonna celebrate tonight. So I'm pretty excited about that too. So, but your challenge card, let's get your challenge card. I swear I'm not losing my mind y'all, I swear. Is the Six of Pentacles, okay. So that is a, that is a card of charity and a card of balance, okay. <laughs> this is your challenge. We kind of knew that, right? So we kind of knew that you were gonna have trouble balancing all of this. Um, and with the card of charity, um, you know, you want to do a lot of things and you know what, this is falling on your higher fan card too. So for many of you, I have a feeling that part of what is going to be laid on you may possibly be for people that are wanting you to be part of a charitable event, come to, um, you know, a school function, fundraiser, church fundraiser, um, you know, something that's a community fundraiser, could be a St. Patrick's Day type of fundraiser event, um, something in that way, I'm totally getting that. And you know, this is your challenge. This is being another thing that's being thrown in on you because you know, people count on you and you are usually a go-to, you're a leader, you are on top of things, you are a go-to person and people expect that from you. So um, nothing, you know, nothing new here, but this is a lot for you, okay? This is what is putting extra burden on you, um, not just financially, but emotionally, mentally, what have you. And you really are gonna have to harness this King of Cups energy if you want to, you know, really get through it. Because I do feel like 
um, you know, you are going to get some, and you might get some guilt here too. You might get some people going, you know, we really need you to be at this. We really need you to be at that. And you really want to do everything and help everybody, but there's only one of you. So again, you might have to start making decisions. You're going to have to decide what's really important for you. And again, this may be, um, you know, you have to search your soul. What's, <laughs> what's going to be the most important? What's going to be something that you don't want to let down? Um, and then start putting it in order priority wise. Okay, so now that we know your challenge, which I think we kind of could have guessed in the first place, but I think that nailed it down a little bit more to potentially um, charitable type events, things like that, that might come um, in balance, which we knew the whole situation there was a balance issue. Um, you know, balancing time, balancing energy, balancing funds, balancing everything. Um, you know, that's going to be difficult. But uh, let's go ahead and see with this two of swords. What do we have here? Okay, so we have heartache and loss. So I do feel like this is something where, you know, you're trying to make a decision, okay, because um, with the heartache and loss, I don't feel like it's actual heartache and loss as much as like you've lost a person, you've lost, you've had a breakup, something like that. I feel this is more in tune with, um, you know, you don't want to let anybody down. Okay, you don't want to break anybody's heart as far as like really make them feel like they're left out. You didn't make it to their game. You didn't make it to their fundraiser. You didn't make it to, you know, or you don't want to uh, feel like anybody missed out on your time or you missed out on helping them. Um, you know, so your decisions here are important and people are putting a lot on you. Okay, they I do feel like there's a lot expected from you or a lot that's popping up. Um, maybe even impromptu. Hey, can you fill in for such and such? Hey, can you do this or that? Um, so I do feel like you do um, feel like a lot's on you. And I do feel like for a lot of you that you are that kind of person that you want to, you want to do it all. You really do want to be able to do it all, but you can't, okay? Be realistic with yourself so that you don't feel heartache and loss with yourself that you couldn't do it all, okay? Because you just can't. You have to say no sometimes, unfortunately, um, and that's hard for some of you. Some of you are just, you know, I can do it, I can do it, I can balance it, I'll figure it out, um, and you can't. Sometimes you have to delegate, and that's just the bottom line. Um, and sometimes people are going to be, you know, feel like they're left out or hurt or whatever, um, and it's not intentional. It just is what it is. How about, this is the moon deck. Uh, we are going to get some clarifiers on the Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles. And we have surrender. And again, I do, again, this is exactly what I'm saying here. Um, you're going to have to surrender to what is most important to you, okay? You can't do it all, okay? You can delegate and, you know, but everybody wants wants you. We understand that. They want you to be the one doing it. Of course they do. You know, if you're the mom, if you're the dad, if you're the main chairperson, if you're the one they've asked to step in, they want you to do it. They don't want you to delegate it to, you know, someone else, a friend, a sibling, a, you know, the other parent or whatever it may be because, you know, you're the one they wanted. But they're going to have to make do, okay? And yeah, it may be like heartache and loss for you that you missed out on some of it. Maybe heartache and loss for them. You know, it's not earth shattering though. It's not the kind of heartache and loss that you don't get over. It's like, okay, I'm upset for a day because you missed my science fair or you missed my soccer game or whatever. You're mad for a day, but you know what? Make it to the next one, okay? Or why couldn't you chair the fish fry committee tonight? You know, we needed you there. You know, we wanted you. You're the best at making, you know, the money at the fish fry committee or whatever, whatever it may be. But, you know, and we get that. But, you know, I, I have co every confidence that you're going to be able to get the right people to do the jobs, to do the things, to get everything done. It's just not necessarily that you're going to be able to personally do them. And for a lot of you, that's going to be very hard, okay? Um, but you are going to have to surrender to the fact that you can't and choose the ones that are most important to you because you cannot, you have to be balanced, okay? And you have to be charitable, um, but you can only do so much. This is your challenge and you have to accept that. You have to surrender to that, that you can only do so much. So prioritize what is the most important to you. And that's right next to your higher fan card. So, you know, seek inner guidance, seek higher guidance, seek whatever you need to determine what do you feel like is the most important to you or what would hurt 
um, if you miss something, what would hurt that person the most? Which person would it hurt the most, I guess, rather? Um, or who's the most resilient if you were to, you know, delegate somebody else to come to their event? Um, and how about this King of Cups down here? So this is going to be, we've got here, everything is a reflection. Hold up the energetic mirror. What do you need in your life that you're not currently getting? So again, it's an energetic reflection. Um, what are you not getting? Uh, again, this is telling you, you know, whatever you're not able to do, whatever energy you cannot put forth, whatever you can't physically do, hold up the mirror, find somebody as close to you as you can and put that, their energy to work. Okay. Put them out there, put them out there as the reflection of you, put them out there in your stead, put them out there, get the job done. Okay. That's the most important is to get the job done. Okay. What you're currently not getting is this done, okay? So you're going to get it done. You are. You're going to put on your little kingly crown and you're going to get it done, okay? But you just may not physically be able to get it all done yourself. You're going to have to delegate. That is the bottom line, okay? And there may be people who don't like that. There may be people who don't like that. You may not like that, frankly. You may want to be hands-on with everything. That just is who you are but it's not possible. There's only one of you, and when there's 20 tasks, you just can't do it. Accept it, surrender to it, pick what's the most important, and for the rest of it, just make sure it gets done. Find somebody who's the closest energetic match to you that could do it, your energetic mirror, your closest match, throw them in it, make sure they do a good job in your stead so that it's still done, it's still done well, um, and, and you still get to do as much as you possibly can without, you know, killing yourself. So anyway, I do think everything is going to be fine this weekend. You will get it all done. Um, you just will have to prioritize the part that you physically do yourself. Uh, other than that, I hope you have a great weekend and week ahead. And I hope to see you back in the next reading. Also, again, I will link your um, love reading in the description. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out, please do. Bye.